Welcome back, it is day 28, and today we're doing something a little different without the clarinet. I am in the very final stages of preparing my first full-length solo album for release. Um, it's coming out July 17th, it's called Ulyssa, and it's got voice, clarinet, bass clarinet, um, some spoken poetry, uh, just like December's EP that came out, there's some harp on one of the tracks. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I actually wrote and recorded pretty much all the text and music for this album in the space of about four weeks at the end of last summer. And then I've just kind of sat with it and edited things here and there over the course of this past year. Um, a lot of the imagery in the songs is very seasonal and so I wanted it to come out in the summer. And here we are. So it's nearly time. My plan right now is to finish up just the last edits and to get everything uploaded for distribution and out of my hands like tomorrow. So this really is like, this is it. So I just want to take you along for like what that final part of the process looks like. One of the parts of this process is listening to the album on as many, come up. So a big part of this process, as you get close to the end, is listening to whatever your latest draft is on as, in as many contexts as possible, through as many different devices as possible, so that there's nothing that you're missing, you know, listening on your phone versus listening with headphones, listening in the car. <laughs> you just, you don't want to miss anything. <laughs> so what I've been doing is I'll listen through whatever device I'm going to listen through with like a notebook and a pen handy and just make notes of any edits that I feel need to be made. Now I'm to the point where, you know, I'm only coming up with one or two small things uh, on the whole album per listen through. And then I tweak those, I rebounce everything, and then I listen again. Uh, so earlier today I listened through the whole album with headphones and I also listened through it just on my phone and I've gone through and resolved any edits that I came up with. I went and did some other things so it's also kind of important to like let your ears rest a little bit between listens because with repeated listening you do become a little bit numb to certain things and so it's good to take some time in between listens. I went to the conservatory, I did my lessons, I'm back home again, it is evening. I'm up in a part of the turret that you don't normally see Sorry, there's starlings nesting inside the siding up here, and they're kind of noisy intermittently. I'm next to my computer where I do my recording and editing generally. I haven't listened to my latest draft yet through a Bluetooth speaker, so I'm gonna, I've got that right here, and uh, I'm gonna take you along for a little bit of a ride. This will definitely be a montage. If you want to hear more, this will go live everywhere that music exists on July 17th. But if you pre-order on iTunes, I think that's going live July 1st if everything goes well, you will get one of the tracks for immediate download. So uh, not strictly clarinet practice today, but it's an important part of the craft if you are recording your music and trying to share it. An important part of that final process is really careful listening. So. Join me. Also, this is Orpheus. You may have seen him in a few previous videos. He is supremely good. And that's all you need to know about him. All right, I've got my Bluetooth speaker here. It's a DOS sound box. Um, if you had access to multiple speakers, try listening to different things on different speakers. Sometimes I'll listen to something and think, oh, that sounds kind of muddy. And then I realize it's just kind of the EQ of that particular Bluetooth speaker. So before you go making huge edits to like EQ and things like that, try listening on a couple different devices just to make sure that it's really the track and not just what you were listening through. The way I have this set up is um, everything is bounced to Google Drive and also it's backed up on a hard drive. And I'm going to be listening through the 16-bit waves that are the files I'll be uploading to CD Baby. Because there's not restrictions on the bit depth when you upload to Bandcamp, I'll be doing like 24-bit waves there. 
but the version that will end up on like iTunes and Apple Music and Spotify and all those places, uh, that's going to be what I upload to CD Baby and they require 16-bit waves. So that's the format I'm going to be listening to. So let's get this queued up. Of course, now it's not working. Okay. So that didn't work. <laughs> as soon as I got everything set up and I tried to load the tracks, I was having connectivity issues, probably because I was on the third floor and the, like the modem router is on the first floor. So I moved everything down a floor. I'm in the percussion room now. You can't see it, but there's a five octave marimba in here and a drum set and a bunch of other stuff. Let's try that again. <laughs> Things that you should, I'm sure she's a lovely person. It got really dark. I'm gonna turn on light. <laughs> it's very orange now. Let's keep this thing rolling. I cast about for a sacrifice that can't stop the start of a cynical smile. We both know there are no lamps here. So I keep my morbid mouth mute and just out of frame. When you tell her about this, you'll leave out my name. <laughs> So I can tell my battery is running low. Uh, I just finished listening and I gotta say, I've got like one thing on here after listening to the whole thing. So um, I've got one edit to resolve. It's, it's tuning related on one of the tracks and I think what needs to happen is it's not the voice that is out of tune, it's the clarinets behind it. The major third needs to be lowered a little bit. So hopefully that will take care of it. I'll give everything a final listen through tomorrow uh, and then upload it and be done so and then it'll be out of my hands so that'll be really exciting i hope that wasn't too terribly boring but these are practice videos so you know it's not the most exciting content thank you for watching and i'll see you sometime for day 29. <laughs>